Hello everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to simulate op amp amplifier circuits in PySpice. We will consider two popular op amp amplifier configurations. Non-inverting op amp amplifiers where the input signal is applied at the positive or non-inverting input pin of the op amp and inverting op amp amplifiers where the input signal is applied at the negative or inverting input pin of the op amp. In addition, the positive pin is grounded. We will discuss both DC analysis and transient simulation of such op amp circuits. For the op amp, we will consider the popular 741 model. The datasheet for the 741 op amp is readily available online. This figure in the datasheet shows that the op amp comprises 22 BJTs, 11 resistors, 1 diode and 1 capacitor. Typically, circuit simulators do not attempt to simulate the complete internal circuitry of the op amp. Instead, they use macro modeling technique to represent the important op amp behavior from the device terminal perspective. In this regard, the seminal macro model for the 741 op amp was originally proposed by Boyle in 1974. If you are interested, a comprehensive tutorial explaining op amp micro modeling is available here. Let us look at this tutorial. This is page 10 in the op amp macro modeling tutorial. This is available online here. This figure shows the generic block diagram of an op amp macro model. Each stage is appropriately modeled using circuit components and the macro model parameters are obtained from the data sheet. If you are interested to learn more, please check out this excellent and detailed tutorial. The 741 op amp is available in PSPICE. If we select the op amp, then click edit, model, edit instance model, we can see the actual macro model for the op amp. And this macro model is actually based on the boil macro model. This piece by spoil macro model is shown here on the right. The 741 op amp is defined as a sub circuit with five inputs. The complete netlist for the macro model is defined. On the left, we have a modified boil macro model for the 741 op amp. Comparing the two macro models, there are some minor differences in some of the component values. The modified boil macro model is an updated version of the original PSPICE boil macro model. And in this work, we will use the modified boil macro model. This model is actually obtained from the ng-spice discussion forum shown here. This complete sub-circuit definition is posted in the video description. It needs to be copy-pasted into a file named muA741.lib. Let us consider the PySpice simulation of a basic non-inverting op amp amplifier circuit as shown here. The input to this circuit is 1 volt DC. This circuit provides a gain of 10, so we expect the output voltage to be 10 volts. We label the nodes as input V minus plus VCC minus VCC and out. Using this descriptive node labeling, we can translate the circuit into a netlist as shown here. We specify the file that includes the op amp model. This lib file should be placed in the same folder as the Python script file. We can then specify this path in the script file as shown here. 
This ensures that there are no errors associated with the model not being found. This circuit netlist command defines the op-amp. The last five parameters specify the nodes where the op-amp is connected. The positive pin of the op-amp is connected to the input node. The negative pin of the op-amp is connected to the V- node. These are the first and second node connections. Next are the two op-amp power supply nodes. Finally, the op-amp output node. The complete code is shown here and is also available in the video description. We have the standard declarations at the top. Next is the circuit netlist that we discussed. These commands invoke the DC operating point simulation and show the node voltages. Finally, we can do the theoretical calculations side by side with the simulations. When we run this code, we obtain all the node voltages, including the node voltages inside the op-amp macro model. This is really cool. We can see that the input voltage is 1 volt. The voltage at the negative pin of the op-amp is also 1 volts. The voltage at the output node is 10.01 volts, which matches the theoretical prediction very well. Next, let us take a look at a more complicated example. This is a non-inverting op-amp amplifier with a Y or a, treat or a T structure of resistors in the feedback path. Using the descriptive node labeling as before, we can translate the circuit into a netlist as shown here. We can also program the gain equations for this circuit obtained using the ideal op-amp assumption into the Python script. When we simulate this circuit, we can verify that the simulated output voltage and the theoretical output voltage match perfectly. The complete Python code to simulate this circuit is posted in the video description and comments below. It is also possible to do a transient simulation of op-amp amplifier circuits when the input voltage is, for example, a 0 0.2 volt peak sine wave. This is discussed next. Here we have the Python code to simulate a non-inverting op-amp amplifier with a sine input having an amplitude and frequency. We define the step time and the final time for the transient simulation. We change the input voltage to be a sine voltage source as shown here. The rest of the netlist is unchanged. We invoke the transient simulation and also we add the plotting commands to plot the simulated as well as the theoretical values. When we run this code, we can obtain the transient simulation plots. In this case, the input is a 0 0.2 volt peak sine wave and the output is a 1.65 volt peak sine wave. The theory and the simulated waveforms match perfectly. We can use the transient simulation to investigate practical limits of an op-amp. For instance, in this case, if we increase the input voltage to a 2 volt peak sine wave and we run this code again, we can see that now the output voltage saturates at approximately plus minus 13 volts. This is to be expected since a practical op-amp can only produce output voltage 
which is 1 to 2 volts less than the supply voltages. Similarly, we can simulate inverting op amp amplifiers. The circuit netlist is shown here. In this case, the positive input pin of the op amp is connected to circuit ground. The negative input pin of the op amp is connected to the V minus node and so on. When we simulate, we can verify that the simulated output voltage matches with the theoretical prediction. Finally, consider an inverting op amp amplifier with a Y or a T structure of resistors in the feedback path. We can construct the circuit netlist and program the gain formulas as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. We can simulate this circuit to obtain either the DC bias values or the transient simulation plots. For instance, in this case, we can see that the output is 180 degree out of phase with the input due to the inverting amplifier. The Python codes to simulate the non-inverting and inverting op-amp op amplifier circuits discussed in this video are posted in the video description as well as the comments section below. If you have any suggestions for video topics, please post them in the comments section. Thank you for watching this video.